today is a gorgeous day and it's gonna be an awesome day. And in case you're wondering why I think it's gonna be an awesome day, well, because we're starting a new project here at Starlight Farm. Summer has been long and summer has been incredible. But fall is here and that means back to the farm. Oh, there's a plane overhead, but that's not Alex. He's working at the cottage <laughs> still, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have projects ongoing. We'll tell you more about that another time. But here I am, I am at the farm and I am getting ready for one of my favorite things of the year, Friendsgiving. And we have this amazing barn, which you watched us build. And today we're gonna start making some changes to the barn. New project, come inside. This is our sort of entertaining barn and we've had some really good parties in here. When we're entertaining, we need to have a place to serve food. There's no running water in here, so I schlep everything back and forth from the house. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Uh, and I'm thinking we need a big island slash bar here and a run of cabinetry back here. This is the door I've chosen to use here and it is just a simple wood frame door from our Swedish pals, yes. We're also gonna add a lounge and a large flexible dining area, but I'll tell you more about that later. I wanna be ready for a fabulous fall Friendsgiving and I want you to join me on this adventure, okay? First up, let's unload my car. It's gonna be a super busy day. So I am currently parked um, beside Georgian Bay and I'm just about to quickly do my makeup because I am one of those people that does not feel ready to conquer their day until I've done my makeup. And um, I tell you, I've done this a number of times. I also have a new product collaboration that I am gonna tell you about while I do my makeup super fast. Have you ever heard of Merit, Merit Beauty? Clean Beauty Vegan. Why do I do my makeup every day, in case you're wondering? Uh, it's because I have been working in television, which always meant that I had to juggle my kids and being ready. I often had to pack multiple uh, outfits every single day. And for me to look and feel my best, I like to have my makeup done. So I like a simple routine. I can do it in less than five minutes. So I've partnered with Merit Beauty and I've created a really fun set of my essentials, which by the way, comes in this adorable little tote bag, little, little uh, corduroy tote. Every first order you get one of these. So I grabbed this as I was running out the door. So starting with, this is the minimalist. This is uh, part foundation, part complexion stick. It's a two in one and you get to just do arts and crafts and put it wherever you like. Okay, next up we have flush bomb. And look at this, mm, so cute. This is, you've seen these, right? A couple of these here and here dead simple. What I love about this is all of this stuff gives you kind of a more dewy look. This is the bronze bomb. Also what I love is that everything is called a bomb. Feels like it's moisturizing. It doesn't feel chalky and dry. The kids would say, you gotta do it right here. Listen, my makeup routine is so simple. Uh, everything in my life has to be efficient, fast, practical, and help me look and feel my best. So that's that. Okay. Brow gel. I didn't used to use brow gel until I discovered this. And then I became a convert. And I don't need brow gel to make my brows look bigger because I already have rather bushy eyebrows. But I do like the way that this brow gel uh, keeps them sort of a little bit more in place, okay? So anything that helps me look and feel my best. Yeah, that's somebody just walked past my car. I think they're wondering what on earth is going on. Okay, last step here. Oh, second last step, mascara. Here's a fun, <laughs> I, don't, I don't leave home without mascara. The Merit Mascara does not smudge. It's clean. It feels really nice when it goes on. Final touch, a little lipstick. Also, lip oil really nice lip oil like this one more little touch you can use both you can use one the other okay that's it how did I do do I look ready to go ready to tackle the day and whatever comes my way yep mm -hmm. 
Uh, this is my Merit collab and my essentials. This is what I do. And now I'm going to go do it. Have a good day. Well, my makeup is done. Now we just have to get the barn made up and ready for the big Friendsgiving party. Charlotte has been building. Three cabinets done already. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So the plan here is we are gonna put an eight foot long island here. Back here, we're gonna do a 10 foot run. And then over here, this is a great living room zone because it looks out through the trees, back to the house. All of this furniture has always just been temporary. This is some outdoor furniture. So we're gonna move this out, we're gonna put down a rug, and we're gonna try to make this more loungy. And then we always use the central part for setting up the tables for dining. Next step, we're going to the barn pile. When we built the barn, we had some leftover pieces of wood, so we saved them for a rainy day or an awesome sunny September day when you're trying to build something. Let me bring my camera in closer. These might be good for cladding. The only tricky part is that we have to find enough for our cladding. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's the challenge of make your own TV in a field. My tripod just fell right over. Well, that's a nice piece. Yeah. I feel like we might need that. Here's a planning update. We are gonna build this island. It is going to have an eight foot top on it and it's gonna go on these amazing casters that I found. There'll be room for some stools, which is awesome. Do you recognize these stools? Yes. If you've been watching for a long time, you probably know where these stools are from. These are the original kitchen stools from Starlight Farm. But they are perfect here in the barn, and that's awesome. Along this wall, we've got a 10 foot run, and then I'm gonna push the living room towards the other side so that we're just gonna have two groupings here. This will be essentially the kitchen, but it's not a kitchen, and um, hangout space. And then the dining runs right down the middle because you just can't beat that. Okay, it is an absolutely gorgeous night. We had a great day one. This is very weird because I am at the farm all by myself, which rarely slash never happens. Alex is working up at the island. I am working here. Kids are at school. It is 24 degrees at six o'clock, so you know what I'm gonna do? going for a swim, people. How's it going? Pretty good. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Those butcher block countertops that were over there. Thankfully, Ed, our wonderful contractor, who's doing something else on the property right now, helped me this morning. They put them on the Ranger and we backed them up here. Down there, you can see my truck. It's full of goodies that we just pulled out of storage. I know most people don't have um, tons of extra furniture in storage, but when you're me, you do. Because when you stop using something, you don't want to get rid of it. You save it for a rainy day or a beautiful sunny day when you decide instantly that you need to furnish your barn. And then we are going to take this top and we are going to fit it. Okay. I love these countertops. And then we grab it. Oh, this, oh so yeah, this is good. This is too nice for a barn. Maybe we turn it around. <laughs> you don't want the logo? Is that logo supposed to be there? Is it one on each side? Everybody's going to want to know where these are from. This company's called Global Industrial. This is amazing because it is inch and a half thick, solid maple. It comes finished, so you don't have to finish it yourself. I think they're great quality and great value for the price. I'll show you our sink. Check this out. So I actually bought this at Ikea, and what I like about it is it's just neutral. It's the exact same color as the barn beans. Okay, explain to me what we've done here. So we've taken an old weathered two by four, and we're using this as a gable. And the nice thing is the thickness of the two by four here overlaps. 
so the new boards die into it and it creates this really nice edge. Great detail. And here, I'll put the door on. Oh, put that door on, Charlotte. Look at that. I bought these handles oh, so long ago. I bought these from one of my all-time favorite salad shops, the door store. Mm, love it, love it, love it. Look at the shape of them. These are legit vintage patinated brass. They're gonna look so good. Those are awesome. Mm, no, I think I like them facing each other. I don't normally like a vertical handle, but in this case, I'm loving it. Honestly, this is my tip, buy what you love. And if you're like me and you've always got a project on the go, eventually you're gonna find a place for it. Yes. Bye. While Charlotte works on her side, I'm gonna start working on my side. Okay, I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. The barn is weatherproof. Everything we're putting in here will not be exposed to the elements. Although this table's about to get a little wet. Okay, right now I am spraying bleach on this table. Why, you ask? This is the coffee table that was in the house I grew up in. We had it at Paisley Acres. And then it's been sitting in a shed for 12 years. Anyway, it had mold all over it when I pulled it out of storage today. I wanna to put it in the barn. And the last time I went to go see my refinisher, he showed me this amazing treatment he was doing where he was bleaching furniture. Now, this is a hack, um, but I got nothing to lose because the top is gone yucky and the base has gone yuckier. This side of it has mold on it. So I'm just gonna spray this and we're gonna see what happens. Next, I'm gonna take you to my hydrangeas. We're gonna cut some hydrangeas. My hydrangeas this year are incredible. Look at this. This one, it's as big as my head. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut a whole bunch. Of course, I cut the one that's probably the most visible. I'm gonna go around the back instead. I'm gonna cut a whole bunch of hydrangeas. I'm gonna put them in a giant vase and then I'm just gonna leave them to dry because they will dry the most beautiful color. In case you were wondering what I would put them in, voila. Okay, little check-in. Wow, that tabletop really cleaned up. Once it's super dry, I think it needs a little sanding. And the mold is 100% gone. Awesome. Look at this. Charlotte did an awesome job and then look, she left and five minutes later I had it messed up because I am about to put stuff away in these cabinets. Look, I now have all this storage. And what's great is this island is flexible and movable. Our big island top came without any finish on it which was a surprise to me because the other counter came urethaned. So I've given everything a light sand and I am now going to try this triple thick one coat clear finish urethane, uh, which completes projects three times faster. Okay, if you know me, you know I like everything done faster. So three in one, yes please. Let's see how this works because I have never tried it before. Here we go. I'm gonna give it a little wipe with a damp cloth. Maybe the balloon sleeve and the tasseled fringe on today's blouse choice is not super well intended for painting. Looking good. I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure we have a rain delay. I'm currently stuck in the barn and I'm worried that perhaps there are windows open in the house. Uh-oh. No, Alex said it's just gonna be a short burst of rain. So I'm not gonna panic. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I wanna talk to you about this. 
What you have to remember is this is not an unlimited budget design project. This is a work with what you've got. This is how do you take a rustic space and make it look and feel better. So before I invest in new furniture, I'm trying to work with all the stuff, all the treasures I had in storage and make them work. Quick stop at my favorite farm market to order Thanksgiving pies. And the Minister of Exteriors has returned just in time for me to put him to work in the barn. Whoa! And we interrupt the party planning to bring you a corn maze! And everything should work out perfectly tomorrow, as long as we can get the chickens out of the dining room. It's a beautiful fall day. And thanks to Clover, there are no chickens in the living room. Now, if we could just do something about the dining room. It's uh, T minus four and a half hours and I haven't even started setting the tables. So one thing's really good and that is we're not cooking tonight. We're having it catered. On each table, I'm gonna do some hydrangea arrangements. Nothing is better than free flowers, right? Oh, wait, before I do flowers, I should probably do candles. I bought these lanterns ages ago and I keep them here in the barn for whenever we entertain. They're kind of handy. And what is that? A little extra decor for you. Some fall colors, where would you like? Did you just cut that down specially? Oh, I might have hit it with the roll bar on the mower. But anyway, it's pretty, isn't it? It's gorgeous and since it's already broken, we'll take it. That's so beautiful. Where do you want it? I don't know. Where do you think? You're really getting into this decor thing. Isn't that supposed to be my jam? Well, this is an exterior piece, I guess, so it does fit with my portfolio. It's an exterior element. How about that? It's awesome. It's time to set the table, and I have an occupational hazard, which is I love buying china. Plates I bought when we were shooting Sarah's House season four. I love these. These are Royal Albert and the pattern's called Capri. These I purchased for a Thanksgiving dinner mm, about five years ago. Not vintage, another vintage one. These are Royal Stafford. Pattern is Westminster, love this. And uh, this is our normal china here. This is Ainsley Belmont, love this pattern. So I think what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna alternate the different plates, the different patterns. Next ingredient, glassware. I rented the glassware. Here's my thought. The dishes, all the plates, and the cutlery are super easy to put through my dishwashers, but glasses take up a lot of space and I really don't wanna to have to truck them all the way back to the house. Next ingredient on the tables is something we're super excited about. Voila, look at these gorgeous napkins. Check these out. Natalie and I have been working on a new collection. Doesn't this cotton feel so nice? Yeah. 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 These are hand blocked, beautiful, colorful, 100% cotton napkins that we are manufacturing in India. Look at these colors. Do you need to add a little something fun? If you wanna work vintage China in with a neutral color palette that you have at home, you wanna give it some life, I think you're gonna to wanna to invite us to your table, right? So I guess we'll be arriving any minute. Tables are set, things are looking good. Oh, please enjoy the view of the porta potty. Convenience is key. We're gonna have a great time. It's Thanksgiving and it's beautiful. Okay, come on in, I'm gonna give you a tour. So here we go. The bar, we've got a little setup here for drinks when you first come in. Tables are set. That is the sound of first guests arriving on the gravel driveway. So we've got snacks. I still have some prep to do here. I need to put out the crackers and cheese and stuff. But here's the living area. And the most fun thing about this whole area is I did not buy one thing. This is all items that I had in storage that I already owned. So I basically um, thrifted my storage. An old sofa, I brought the chairs from the main house just to use for tonight. 
because we're all set up. These wing chairs I bought on Facebook Marketplace. The coffee table that I grew up with when I was a kid in my childhood home. Our tablecloths look so great. These are Jillian Harris for Joe Fresh from Loblaws. How great is that? You can get them at the Superstore. Our new napkin collection that Natalie and I are working on, which I love. All the flowers are free from the farm here. The candles, the lanterns I've had since my last milestone birthday. I won't tell you how long ago that was. Yeah, three years ago. Um, the pumpkins all came from local roadside stands. And yeah, it's cozy. It needs to be cozy because it's not that warm outside. It's only about 13 degrees outside right now, but this is how we're gonna roll. So let's go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and leave me a comment below. Let me know what kind of content you're looking for. Bye for now.